Section 9.5 continued to add and subtract complex rational expressions. A complex fraction is a fraction that has a fraction in its numerator or denominator or in both its numerator or denominator. Here are some examples and let's simplify these rational complex expressions. Here I have 8 ninths divided by 2 fifteenths. To do that, I just rewrite that as 8 ninths divided by 2 fifteenths. And now we know how to work with this type of expression. I just bring down the 8 ninths, I change this to multiplication, and I find the reciprocal, which is 15 halves. Now I simplify. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 8 four times, 3 goes into 9 three times, 3 goes into 15 five times. I multiply across the top, which is going to give me 20 over 3. The next one is a fraction over an integer, which is 10. I can still simplify this because it is 5 thirds divided by 10. And we're used to working with this type of expression. Really, I can write that as 10 over 1. Bring down the 5 thirds, change the multiplication, find the reciprocal, which is 1 tenth, and then simplify. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice, and I get 1 fourth. And finally, I have an int integer over a fraction. Again, I can just bring down 12 divided by 3 fourths, and I can put 12 over 1. Bring down my first fraction, which is 12 over 1, change the multiplication, find the reciprocal. I can simplify 3 into 3 once, 3 into 12 four times, 4 times 4 is 16. On our previous slide, we looked at complex fractions that we simplify, but each of them were numeric. We had integers in the numerator and denominator. In this situation, we have rational expressions in our numerator and denominator. But if I just take a look at the numerator, I know that I can simplify this by finding a common denominator, as we did in the previous section. And that's the same thing we can do with the denominator. So if we follow that process, I can rewrite 1 over m leave a space, plus 1 over n. And do the same thing in my denominator. 2 over 3m, leave a space, plus 2 over 3n. Now I can just multiply each fraction to get a common denominator. In my numerator, my common denominator would be mn. So to get these to be common denominators, I'm going to multiply the first fraction by n over n, and my second fraction by m over n. I'm going to do the same in the, in the denominator. My common denominator would be 3mn. To get 3mn in this fraction, I'll multiply by n over n, and this fraction by m over m. It just so happens I multiply by the same value in the numerator and denominator. That does not always have to be the case. Let's simplify in the numerator and denominator. When I do, that gives me n over mn plus m over mn. In my denominator, I'll have 2n over 3 mn plus 2m over 3mn. Now I can just rewrite those under one common denominator in the numerator and denominator, which would be n plus m over mn over 
2n plus 2m. over 3 mn. Now I'm going to rewrite that as a quotient. That would give me n plus m over mn divided by 2n plus 2m over 3 mn. Draw a line here to make sure we're separating our sections. Now, as in the previous slide, I can bring down my first fraction n plus m over mn, change this to multiplication, and find the reciprocal, which would give me 3 mn over, and if you notice, I can factor here. So I'll factor out a 2, and that will leave me n plus m. Now I can simplify as before. mn cancels the mn. n plus m cancels n plus m. And you can see I'm left with just 1 times 3, which is 3, over 1 times 2, which is 2, or 3 halves. Again, I want to simplify this complex fraction. I want to work with the rational expression in the numerator to get a common denominator and work with the rational expression in the denominator to get a common denominator. So on top, I'm going to have 5 over x squared, leave a space, plus y over x all over y over x leave a space, minus 3, and I know I can write that over 1. Let's get a common denominator in the numerator. That will be x squared. So I will leave this fraction by itself because it's already x squared, but I need to multiply this by x over x. In the denominator, my common denominator would be x. This fraction already has an x, so I can leave that one alone. But I need to multiply this by x over x. Let's simplify the numerator and denominator. That will give me 5 over x squared plus xy over x squared. Again, I put in alphabetical order. Over y over x minus 3x over x. Let's rewrite these over a common denominator. That would give me 5 plus xy over x squared. That would be all over y minus 3x over x. Now I can write this as a quotient. Let's separate the sections. Therefore, I'm going to have 5 plus xy over x squared divided by y minus 3x over x. Now I can just follow the procedure of bring down my first fraction, 5 plus xy over x squared, change that to multiplication, find the reciprocal, x over y minus 3x. x goes in x once, x goes in x squared, that leaves me in x. And now I'm going to have, when I multiply across the top, 1 times 5 plus xy is 5 plus xy over x times y minus 3x. 
I check to see if something will simplify or factor out of the numerator, and nothing will. Therefore, this is my solution. Let's simplify this complex fraction. Let's rewrite the numerator, 1 with a space, plus 4 over v, all over 1 with a space again, minus 16 over v squared. Let's find a common denominator for the numerator. Let's multiply this by v over v. This already has the common denominator, so we can leave that alone. Let's multiply this by v squared over v squared. And when I multiply across the numerator and denominator, we must recall that this is really 1 over 1, so that's v over v, plus 4 over v, over, again, 1 over 1, which is v squared over v squared, minus 16 over v squared. Now I can rewrite that over the common denominator, which would be v plus 4 over v, over v squared minus 16 over v squared. Now I can write that with a division symbol, which would be v plus 4 over v, divided by v squared minus 16 over v squared. Now what I can do is to bring down the first fraction, which is v plus 4 over v. Division goes to multiplication. Find the reciprocal, which gives me v squared over and I can write that v squared minus 16, but I know that's difference of squares, so I can actually factor that into v plus 4 and v minus 4. And now I can simplify. v goes into v once. v goes into v squared. It's going to leave me just a v. And v plus 4 cancels v plus 4. And that would give me, when I multiply across, 1 times v, which would be v, over 1 times v minus 4, which is v minus 4. Therefore, our solution is v over v minus 4. Again, we want to simplify this complex fraction. Let's begin by rewriting the numerator, which is going to be 5 over 1. Let's leave a space, minus 25 over x plus 5. That's all over. 3 over 1. Let's leave a space, minus 15 over x plus 5. Our common denominator in the numerator is going to be x plus 5. So I need to multiply this fraction by x plus 5 over x plus 5. And again, in the denominator, again, it's going to be x plus 5. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by x plus 5 over x plus 5. Let's multiply across the numerator of the top fraction. And when I do, that's going to give me 5 times x plus 5 over x plus 5 minus 25 over x plus 5. That's all over 3 times x plus 5 over x plus 5 minus 15 over x plus 5. Now I can rewrite each numerator and denominator and write them over a common denominator. 
So on the numerator, that's going to give me, when I distribute, 5x plus 25 minus 25 over x plus 5. And that's all over, let's distribute on the denominator, 3x plus 15 minus 15 over x plus 5. Now I can rewrite that with the division symbol and simplify at the same time. So the first fraction, the numerator, is going to be 5x plus 25 minus 25, or just 5x, over x plus 5 divided by the denominator, which is 3x plus 15 minus 15, or just 3x over x plus 5. Bring down my first fraction, which is 5x over x plus 5. Change from division to multiplication. Find the reciprocal, x plus 5 over 3x. And then I can simplify. x plus 5 cancels with x plus 5. The x's cancel with the x's. And that leaves me 5 times 1, which is 5, over 1 times 3, which is 3. My solution, 5 thirds. Again, I want to simplify this complex fraction. Same procedure. Let's rewrite the numerator and denominator. This will be u over 1 leave a space, minus 4 over u plus 3. And that's all over 1 over 1 plus, let's leave a space, 1 over u plus 3. Finding common denominators. In the top, that will be u plus 3. I'm going to multiply this fraction by u plus 3 over u plus 3. I already have a common denominator here, so I can leave that alone. Multiply the top and bottom here by the same u plus 3 over u plus 3. Again, they don't always have to be the same. Then I can simplify by multiplying u times u plus 3 minus 4, and each of those are over u plus 3, that's all over, 1 times u plus 3 is u plus 3, over u plus 3, plus 1 over u plus 3. Now we can write those over their common denominator, which will be, and I will distribute here, u squared plus 3u minus 4 over u plus 3 over u plus 3 plus 1 over u plus 3. Let's rewrite the fractions and simplify with the division symbol. u squared plus 3u minus 4 over u plus 3 divided by u plus 3 plus 1 is u plus 4. over u plus 3. Now we can bring down the first fraction. Let's factor the numerator since it's a trinomial. And that will be u and u plus 4 
minus 1 over u plus 3, change that to multiplication, find the reciprocal, u plus 3 over u plus 4. Now I can simplify, u plus 3 goes into u plus 3 once, u plus 3 goes into u plus 3 once, u plus 4 goes into u plus 4 once, and u plus 4 goes into u plus 4 once. Multiply across the numerator, I get 1 times u minus 1 times 1, which is u minus 1 over 1 times 1, which is 1, and that really is just u minus 1. Let's simplify our last complex fraction. Let's follow the same procedure. I'm going to rewrite the numerator, so that will give me 12 over x plus 4 leave a space, minus 3 over 1. And the denominator, I have 2 over 1. I'm going to leave a space, minus 8 over x plus 4. On our numerator, I have a common denominator of x plus 4. Therefore, I can leave this fraction alone, and I can multiply this one by x plus 4 over x plus 4. The denominator, again, has the same common denominator, which is x plus 4, so I can multiply this by x plus 4 over x plus 4. And this one I can leave alone because it already is x plus 4. Let's simplify the numerator. That will give us 12 over x plus 4 minus 3 times x plus 4 over x plus 4. And that's all over 2 times x plus 4 over x plus 4 minus 8 over x plus 4. Let's rewrite over a common denominator on the numerator and denominator. That will give me, and we'll distribute also, 12 and let's distribute, and remember we need to take the negative with the distribution, so that's a negative 3 times x, which is a negative 3x, and a negative 3 times 4, which is a negative 12. And that will be all over x plus 4, and that's all over, let's distribute here, 2x plus 8 minus 8 over x plus 4. Let's rewrite with the division symbol and let's simplify. So the first fraction is going to be 12 minus 3x minus 12 and when I simplify that that'll give me a negative 3x over x plus 4 divided by and in the denominator 2x plus 8 minus 8. When I simplify that that's going to give me 2x over x plus 4. Bring down the first fraction, negative 3x over x plus 4. Division changes to multiplication. Find the reciprocal. Gives me x plus 4 over 2x. Now I can simplify. x plus 4 goes into x plus 4 once and cancels on both of those x goes in x once, x goes in x once, and in the numerator I have a negative 3 times 1 is a negative 3 over 1 times 2, which is 2. Therefore my solution is a negative 3 halves.